did you get into farming? It was more out of, out of necessity because we were both very young when we got married and I was in between jobs mm -hmm. and we were expecting so there were several strikes against us and even my own dad and, uh, and brother didn't think that it, I would make it. Really? Yeah, they didn't have faith in me. When we bought the property, there, all there was was two driveways coming into it. And everything here, you see here, I planted or built. And it's paid for. We don't owe anybody anything. I'm going to fluff this up so I can demonstrate this. this yeah. That's where we start the seed. <laughs> this is what, how I plant the seed. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at that, it makes the little holes. You plant 50 at, at one time. So, And then you put a couple of seeds yeah, you, in each one. A couple of seeds in each one. This is what makes the holes. What is that, is that cork? Is that They're cork? It is, it is corks. Corks and plywood. I got a real good write up through organic gardening. So they paid us for the idea so they could publish it. And now, now a company is selling them in 29 countries. This, this company <laughs> bumped on and seen the idea. Well, that's a wonderful idea. In, in the magazine. We couldn't afford to do those kind of things, so somebody got it. But there you have 50 plants. That's good for 100 to 150 dollars in each flat. When you transplant them into four inch pots, which we have up here. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, built those in all different sizes. Oh. Uh, depending on what, we have some half flats over there. Is what these are for. I haven't even hardly used them yet, but uh, there's several different ones, and I've never even used this one, but I made it thinking it would be good with, oh, yeah? with the corks, something that's got big seed, and then they published it in Organic Gardening magazine, which is worldwide. They liked it well enough to pay us for the idea. You're, you're quite an inventor. Well, out of necessity. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always thinking. <laughs> Oh, this is where you start your then, plants. Uh, that's a, electric boxes that I built for starting the plants. Did you start the plants? Whenever we start the plants, there's a, a le uh, electric light underneath here. And uh, all it takes is three 75 watt bulbs to heat this four foot by eight foot box. And all the flats will set on top of here with the, with the seed in them. But I've had a lot of people copy the idea, but I've never seen it anywhere else. Really? What a great idea. And that just, you need it just warm enough. To... It, uh, it, it heats the floor. Uh, there's styrofoam insulation everywhere except the floor. And you've got a 3 8 plywood floor. So any, any heat that escapes comes up through the floor. And it, it'll be about 70 to 72 degrees in there for germination. This is a bluebird house here. That size there and went there, and he also has some of the redwood bluebird houses. And all, that's some of the different bird houses that I built. Birds, huh? All different kinds of birds. Oh, and and bat, bat houses, I, I build those. He's out of his bat houses right now. He needs to get some more built. He sold all the bat houses. Well, why do people want bat houses? Because your bats are insect eaters. And for mosquito control. Mosquito control. And, and other insects. And that's one of the reasons why we keep the birdhouses anyway, out, uh, out and be about because we don't use any insecticides so we depend on the birds to take care of the insects the for us. These are from your trees? This, this is, they're not beautiful. I got one that's going bad. With us, everything we have, we try not to waste anything. I can, I freeze, I have for years. I've got two stoves. And I've got and numerous pressure cookers, side. so I can do our own canning. I freeze turkey pot pie turkey filling, pot, turkey pot pie. and I've got blackberry jam and peach jam, applesauce, yes. and that's all from our own fruit and vegetables and berries. I've been canning since well, I was about 12 or 14 years old with my mom, and then you know everything that we were able to get, I took and I preserved it so we could manage to get by. In the depression, everybody can. Yeah, and, and now nobody does, yeah. <laughs> or very little. This is what, what they want at market. They want free-range eggs. You'll see them in a minute. They're, they run free, but we lock them up at night. At one time, we raised all our own meat. 
We don't now because it's just the two of us, but uh, people can really take care of themselves if they're willing to do the work. And that's, that's the bottom line right there. You have to be willing to put out. Uh, our youngest daughter bought us these two trees uh, when they were in a gallon can. And she said, put these where you put a hammock between them when you retire. No hammock. No hammock. <laughs> I'd rather have a potting bench. Kirsten, here's a couple of sayings that you would enjoy, I'm sure. Happiness is found along the way, not at the end of the road. Prior to that, I used to dwell on retirement. I couldn't wait till retirement, till I read that sign. So I changed my way of thinking, because we don't know if we're going to reach the end of the road. And we have several varieties of squash and pumpkins in between the rows. Getting out of debt before retirement is a, is a key because that would be really hard if you're making high house payments or high rent. Mm -hmm. But it's all paid for and we don't owe anybody. So.